In communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gumsol's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel, yeah, I'm wrong. Pony, did you remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rate. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. Are you thinking of owning your dream homes? EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three or four bedrooms. Or our story buildings, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans. At our Sanyang Seaview Estate, where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, school, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, TVs, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 32. 59220 or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Yo, I'm not transfer us. Yeah, transfer us. Ah, code in Okay. What's that? ID Sorry. I got it. Brilliant, bro. I'm back. But I'll have you so tarry. Ah, but I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Ah, Janum, you are not forest de bureau. Gambia Tonko na Lombardia bureau. Ah, bring coin of Ocato. But it's a code of Kino, Carton, for Bolong Blabe. 56 branches more of the Gambia. Huh? Ah. Ah. Gambia Kono and in Gambia Bantala Bangol. Unka Kono Kia Beret. Kodo Sifa Sifa for Falindiro for Nadi left a member of Kodito Koton in Kodimaro. Janum number one in Yonda. And no for another another enterprise is Sotali. Wall of Wallam Nindipo, Domoro Fanangol Fan and Bay Firali, the Daddy Man in Domoro Fan and Betia. Gambia Dauda Yalom of Fakindol Sotali. I fell in the Yalom of Kanyal and Kendall every night. Yalom Bukanil of Wall, Abarka. Yalom del Chosano. Abarka. Steward and Co. 
Rose Solicitors, a legal excellence firm in London that can help you with all aspects of your legal work. If you are looking at immigrating to the United Kingdom, Stuart & Co. can help you to set up business, buy houses in the UK, and will deal with all your legal works from start to finish. For all your general immigration work, we can help you with that as well. If you apply for any form of visa, whether student visas, settlement visas, marriage visas, or a child wanting to come to the United Kingdom to settle with the family, we can help you to achieve your goals. Stewart & Co. Solicitors, a legal excellence firm specializing in conveyancing, immigration, litigation, family law, personal injury, licensing, no win, no fee. Contact us today at www.sk-solicitors.com. Boy, Janno Circus Restaurant. Yes, I know who be in the Dimbal. Nimba Domoro Kalajano. Domoro Senata, Adiata, Topotoro, and Kendama Bije. Luntan During, Tamala, Abeka Domoro Kijan, Adimanda Wallad, Takawe Bijele, and Impananka Fadijan, Ukono Fa. A government of pastry and in bakery, Uko Fanan Bekari. Bad lomba conference lomba workshop lomba ye fo fendi lo dunia kono domoro betama ni lom international hotel number 1 amanke ba domo la jam dama e sa domo jam e sa atari ya a wo mu ku bandi sa na ko sa futandi e oto sa na ko be mu sikes restaurant ndaba na jam na mu yat ni manje do rombi jam aban sikes restaurant known for best quality food and customer satisfaction Thank you, Mr. Chair. We proceed. Yes. proceed. Yeah. <laughs> 
Good afternoon, General. Welcome back. Tinyang General, Ibisimlay, Kotangke. Tinyang Council, thank you. Uh, before the break, we were talking about the composition of all the units, those four units that had converged at the NIA doing the investigative work. We had discussed the presence of GRTS. GRTS la we have discussed the presence of uh, Mart, Alaji Martin and Musa Jame, uh, Martin and Musa Jame who came from State House but we are not known to be junglers. Uh, so we are not believed to be junglers. We have the panel members. The panel members will finance the menu. panel will come. And then you have the junglers. And then the junglers will finance the. Just before the break, we were discussing the people from the junglers who were there, the actual junglers who were present. So you indicated that you did not know. Uh, Bora Koli to be a jungler. That's as far as we've gone, correct? And Nuntada will to fold and Tata for Tembedal to Koli. Correct, Council. Tonyala Council. Good. So I just want to confirm those in the group who you believed were junglers. Silan left the Purna Tonya and the Yandu, it's a lot of men who are men who are Kafu Ninkono, Koilata or Mujungulandet. Tumbul Tamba. Tumbul Tamba. He was. Michael Correa. I've told you I don't know Michael Correa. I've never met Michael Correa long. Thank you. Number. Sanamanjang. Sanamanjang. I know Sanamanjang, and he he wears the jungle uniform. No Sanamanjang, no Sanamanjang long. I've never seen the uniform only one. Bora Kole, did he wear the jungle uniform? Bora Kole, don't forget the jungle uniform only one. I've not seen him wear jungle uniform. Me na maje a jungle uniform only. So we strike that we strike him out. Alu Jeng, you say you didn't know him. Alu Jeng, you come over and long. Ah, not long. Ah, Nuha Baji. Nuha Baji, don't. No, I know him, but mostly I see him in plain clothes. Nuha not long, but jama jama anka je photo photo le kolo me manke uniform ti. But he was a jungle. A jungle. I wouldn't know whether he's a jungle. I know that he wears plain clothes and he, he comes to the panel. And Bombardier was never a jungler. Bombardier All I know is he was posted in Kanelai. Was he coming to the panel? Akana panel Kausu Kamara was also arrested alongside or oh, stuck a flight. Kausu no, Kausu was not coming to the panel. Kausu Bukana no panel. He was based in Kanelai. At the in Kanelai. So we strike him up. What about Obandiye? Malik Jata. Malik Jata. You said you didn't know him. I don't know him. He was. I said he was Babukar Jata's younger brother. Kwa yako Babukar Jata doko mala. From Gunju. Remember. I only see people saying he's Babukar's younger brother, but I don't know him. Kamu edu mulu kafu ko Babukar Jata dolem, but in time atelo. But was he a jungler? But for jungler, I wouldn't know. In Talon, Smile Ajame. Smile Ajame. Smile, I confirm that yes, he was coming to the panel. Smile, I know that he was coming from the state house. But his designation, I wouldn't know. Uh, I can confirm to you that Ismaila testified before the commission. See, Tonya and Dino and Nkok, Ismaila, the Amra in commission on Yatil Molala. Okay, I'll take it from you. He accepted, he accepted that he was a member of the patrol team, he was a jungler. So, Ndani Nko, Amu Moldi Mialanko, Adabe, Ndani Murumurumnaldo, Andu Njongula Lamati. Okay, I'll take it from you. What was that, Tonya, Ndela Kumutala? Most of the junglers who testified here, Michael uh, Babukar, uh, sorry, uh, Malik Jata. We say Jungle Jamal Benjamin Diam Rajang, Abu Kona Malik Jata. Omar Jalo, Omar Jalo Oya, uh, Pasani, Pasani. Uh, all of them confirm and testif confirmed uh, that Nuha Baji was a jungler. They are Tonya and the Jan Nuha Baji from Mujungulati. Ali Ujeng, 
Ali Ujangdum. He testified here. Afana ese dendro di jang. He also confirmed he was a jungler. Afana ya tonya ndi afan veko atafamu jungler. All of them who testified. He told me be ese dendro di jang. Also confirmed that Bora Koli was a jungler. Be ko isonda ko Bora Koli fana mu jungler. Malik Jata testified here. Malik Jata afana ya ese dendro di jang. He confirmed that he was also a jungler. Ah tonya yandi ko atafamu kuno fana mu jungler. And he confirmed that all of them participated in this exercise that was going on at the NI. There were the people who would go to the prison, bring the detainees, and uh, take them before the panel. Nda ya tonya ya ndi jangkua, ito nda mwalti menu da katara bula nyi mwalkua lkono menu katara nyi kuwa la menga tama NIA sansang kono je. Kataka mwalka mwana nene mai tukie samana NIA je. Do you have any comment on that? Fwa yukuma sura la baby menu na fala wakamba. Council, I think I've already answered you. If they can confirm before this commission, then we take that as the truth. I've told you my own verse on those that I know and those that I don't know. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, now let's talk about the NIA personnel who were there. Haidara was there. Haidara Benunje. Yes, he was there. Ha, Abijere. And after the first day. Baba Saho and Fode Bari came and yes. Fode Bari in Inata uh, on the request of the president. Ah, president of the Kanindu local. And from the police, the police la Karofan Nalanu. You had Boto Keita. You Boto Keita sort of. I'm not familiar with the police officers. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you recall the statement taker, the person who was taking this statement? I can't remember because he was not within the, the hall. He was not staying with us in the hall. Usually he was based in an office where after they, they give their, their testimony, they will go down to the statement taker. But Usman Sonko was there, former IGP. Usman yes, Sonko yes, was there, police were not going to be there. And you were there, Lantom Bontamba. They found Kundi were Lantom Bontamba, even in jail. Yes, at the early part. And there were other people. And in the Kotamon. I wouldn't, know, I wouldn't know those other people you're talking about. Um, the witnesses indicate that usually there would be up to around 20 people in the room. Um, and the So I'm trying to get the list. So some people mention, some others would mention others. So these are the lists. This is the these are the names I have so far. Do you remember any other person? Who were present? I can't remember. Good. Prayer. Uh, so, in essence, uh, we've just confirmed that all the elements that were present there were under the direct authority of the president. Council, can you explain further what you meant by under the direct direction of the president? Interpretation. Council is We have agreed in the court, as you have said many times, that the junglers were under the authority of the president. That is correct. We have also established that every day after every hearing after every after at the close the close after you close work each day you would report to the president yes a summary 
and the observers who were there, Alaji Martin and Musa Jame, according to Alaji Martin, they were reporting directly to the president. If that was what they said, you can take it from them. Good, so we yeah. agree that we would take it from them, but they were reporting from the president. And then the last element is the GRTS. The last element is the GRTS. Whose participation you have agreed was approved, your own word, approved by the president. Correct? Can you come again? You are not clear. You have agreed. You, you told us that the participation of the GRTS mm -hmm. in this investigative activity was approved by the president. Following our recommendation. Thank you very much. So following your recommendation and after approval has been given by the president, the GRTS participated in this process. GRTS participated in the recording of their testimonies. GRTS ma beta ila kumakangulu tale la kela kumakangulu ta. With the approval of the president. President wala kangokang. I think we've talked about that already. Yes, no, just no, no, answer no, no, my no, no, question. No. Yes or no, mm -hmm. it's simple. Mm -hmm. It is mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. shorter to so answer the question. Following our recommendation approved by the president, yes. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Good. So all these elements were under the direct authority and control of the president. All these four. I want to be clear what you meant by all this are under the direct direction of the president. I am trying, I am getting lost as to how to do it. Because I said that we requested for the GRTS and approved by the president for them to be there. So when you see they were under the direction of the president, I don't understand what you meant by that. Okay, we take a different route. We received every information from witnesses that Mudu Sanyang was the one present there in GRTS. True or And so, like I said earlier on, we requested for the GRTS and they were there. But could I don't know about Sanya was there on Could you kindly authority? answer to my question? How could you not know whether Modu Sanya was there or not? How could you not know that? I wouldn't know all the people who were there. I wouldn't remember. <laughs> but if you got information, if the other witnesses testify, if I say I cannot remember, take, take the ones that remember. It will need to come back to my mother. Nimbo will soon see the jam. Iko, what a keta. What a one lakh mota. In fact, I would draw it from memory. And in Kabeba, Tala, in Lundu, Lundu, Komal, Komala, Mina Mira, Mina Mira. Sering Omar Fal testified here, and he said he knows Momo Dusanyang very well. He used to come to their village to play movies. He was the director general of GRTS. He was present at the panel. Sering Omar Fal. He was the person. Organizing and arranging the recording. Serang Umar Fal diam rajan na serang ni rodi jauh ko ay mumur sanya lomba kela mula meyalang ko anak katil la satu atau luka ke video luka sinema le pilih la satu atau mumur sanya ni mood meyalang ko atau luka call phone dia tahu ada ka ke landi bulu ka meyalang ko abis sujud ngalah dua kuala. Other witnesses have also mentioned him. And seru dulu Fransor anda jangan main dia atau apa? He was present there. And so I did not dispute his person. If witnesses testified before this commission that they were there and you, you believe in them, take that from them. I am not disagreeing with them, but if they confirm to you, take it from them. Thank you very much. 
and Modu Sanyang was appointed Director General of GRTS by the President, isn't it? Modu Sanyang was appointed by the President of GRTS by the President. President of GRTS by the President of GRTS. President of GRTS by the 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 President of GRTS. I have no connection with GRTS, so I wouldn't be able to say on that. Ask me about the military that I was in charge. If it sounds funny to you, but we are here to tell the truth. So I cannot exaggerate on things that I'm not so. Well, well, let me just put it to you that the constitution provides that the heads of public corporations are appointed by the president. president if that is what it provides, then take it from there. I'm not a legal-minded person to know about that. You can take it from there. So it therefore means that with him appointed by the president, he is also answerable to the president. That is your that is your your your, your understanding. Well, I'm That is also the fact. Well, I'm not going to that. So all so all these four elements: junglers, members of the panel, the observers from state house, and GRTS were all answerable to the president. Munda nyimfan na na nolbe jungleru, menu bara president wa Karola, jungleru eh GRTS nyimul be be dango kam president wala. Council, if that is your understanding, fine. Council, not a yafa hamule nyama. I bet that. But I did mention to the commission that every day after our interactions, we as the head of the panel will report to the president. But if you are saying that all these people report to the president, okay, that is your assassin. <laughs> Mr. General Tamba, I'm not asserting anything. I put out a proposition and I ask you to confirm or deny the proposition. Uh, the beauty of the whole thing is that you you had to report to the president at the end of every day's work. The leadership of the panel would report to the president on a daily basis. And that's the truth. And yes. with the leadership, yes. Yes, and, and in fact, the president had direct control over what was happening at the at the investigative panel, isn't it? President, I tell you, that more may along with all the people, Marini and Telebulu, who blew the Ngirani into Kisikisiro, be carrying on diamond. Who called the people Marini and Telebulu? When we report to him, he gives directives. We are not keeping our own footage. I tell you, that we are not doing. And you would agree with me that B by giving directives, he is in fact exercising his control authority over what was going on. And so to my understanding, it seems as this is a court of law. If I said, if I, I already answered your question that to my understanding, we report to him. <laughs> Mr. Tamba, you see the thing is, you uncomfortable as some of the questions may 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 may, may be uh, i mean i have a job to do and my job is to ask questions that would bring out the facts for the commission allow me to do my work and, and please just try to answer my question. And uh, the question is in such a difficult one. The president, by giving directives, was exercising his authority 
his control authority over the work of the panel. President Bura Kango di Puru panel or do kunyala. Oye kanne di me alongo. Sembo me mbabu la kole tama di Puru panel oye la do koko alatala nyame. That is true, isn't it? Wala mtu nyadi. Council, this is why me and you will be going front and back. I've said it here that we, the head of the panel, every day after our con concluding our sittings, we report to the president. So those other people that I said they don't fall under us, I wouldn't exaggerate that they report to the president and he gives directives to them. I wouldn't exaggerate on that. This is we are here to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. And we should avoid exaggeration that I think. If I tell you what I know, take that from me. Don't put words in me. <laughs> you are listening to too much press. <laughs> uh, I am not putting words in nobody's mouth. Listening I'm to too much press, what you mean? <laughs> press. 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 Which press? Well, I'll, I would consign that to the basket of trivialities and just move on. Okay, let's move on to realities then. Thank you. Uh, yes, we should not exaggerate. Can I go keep it in me? You are talking only for that part in which you are directly involved. And for that part, the president was giving directives. You agree? For my own part, yes, I deal with the president. Okay. I will tell you that Alaji Martin also said for their part, they were reporting to the president. If that was what he said, take that. In addition to what you said about Musa Jame, he too was reporting to the president. You can take that. And what you said was also the junglers who are getting their orders from the president. Yes, they were sent by him. And we've just agreed that the director general of GRTS report to the president. And on the in the call, Han Kabi, director general of GRTS, the Yarrow Court, the Ofanang, Aka Muru President, the Kamota Walebu. You agree with whom? <laughs> but it's established, I told you, the Constitution gave the President the authority to appoint uh, the heads of public corporations. And Sanyang was definitely, obviously appointed by the President. It is a known fact. So there's no time wasting, there is no need wasting time on known facts. We are here to talk about issues that we don't know. Okay, to, to make life a whole lot easier, just accept the known facts. And, and we move on and we'll gain time. I've told this commission that we requested for the present of the GRTS. We are going back and to that. We suggested, no, we are going back no. to that. We've said it five times now. There is no point going back to that. You are the one taking us back. No. Okay. I'm not taking you back there. I would stop you there. We now must agree. As it is established, that all these four elements derive their authority from the president. Yes, he sent them there. Thank you. Finally. And as such, the president had responsibility for everything that happened there. What the president of Nyingma can long come to do not to work in terms of what? He put together this panel. 
Atele nying panelo nyi londi. Yes. Ha, it is working under his directives. Nying panelo do doko ke ganga la kangole koto. Yes. Ha, the elements within the panel we are reporting to him. Mwuri membe in panelo kono lbeke danku atelema. We report to him, we the, the, the panelists. <laughs> He should therefore be responsible for the product of the panel. What I tell Marling panel only in a do good in Bela, you mentioned the panel has done. Panel or do go menke, you mean to bundy, you mean case bundy cool corner. You are telling you not to go in Taman. I know that we give our reporting to him and he gives us directives. Us. The other people Mr. Tamba, I don't want to talk on that. Mr. Tamba, Mr. Tamba, you were a lieutenant general. 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 You understand the ya doctrine faham. of command responsibility. Ya this faham. is your bread and butter. Ya faham. Le this was the commander in chief. He put together this investigative panel. All the elements of that investigative panel reported to him. He has responsibility over what they have done. You, you agree. And so this is why me and you will be going front and back. This is not a court of law. <laughs> if those people t sat before the commission here and agreed that they, they were sent there by the president or they report to the president, what other confirmation do you need from me? Yes, I want your confirmation as the former lieutenant general of the Gambia Armed Forces. Lieutenant Jandiro la Kokoni Konaka Senate to Malam and Indanaketa Soja or Lanyaton called Lieutenant General. Who knows clearly the doctrine of command responsibility? May Yalonko, a senate of an Ayal on the Ko, Momo, Moko Menkatari Mari Kunaka Nibeko Konaka Menkarikan. And you participate in you participated in this endeavor in this enterprise. And we indicate a multi menda bulata nyung ku nyung kono nyung tamandro kono. You should know which of your superiors should be responsible for your actions. Nyan na lon na lakoi jumala nyan na kela multi me alon ko abe nyado wando fa mbe tarde mbe marla men ku kula. Apart from your personal individual responsibility. Ninga bodi refon kuni ngola do bundo duno nyina. I believe when they were seated here, they confirmed to you that they report to the president. Mr. Tamba, don't make it difficult. It is not difficult. Just answer the question. You are making it difficult. They no. confirm it here that they report to the president. I said it here that me, as the head of the panel, we report to the president. So okay. if those people tell you that they report to the president, what next do you need from me? I want you to confirm that from the law that you know, the law that was applicable in this country, a law on the basis of which you participated in the panel, the responsibility, the overall ultimate responsibility rested with the president. In that the is what the yes. law dictates, yes. And in your understanding of the law of superior or command responsibility, you being the then Lieutenant General of the Gambia Armed Forces, where did the ultimate responsibility lie? Ijala fa hamuro do kumala men na ida muzi jina kera lieutenant general soja lo kunda ro ida ya mira ni nyimko nyimbe kera na tata fa kera duno nyimbe nongu to duno nyimbe kana alaban juma lekang. It is a clear fact that when you assign a responsibility, ni muto ni alti ni kamodi. You report back to that authority. Albe muro la wo kamu kili mo lekang me. Certainly, like you already stated. They said they report back to the president. General, are you what confirmation you need from me, Council? No, but you're just going around and round. I am not. I am not going around. If the witnesses confirm that they report to the president, what confirmation do you need from me, agent? Tell me. You are, I confirm you are that. The point. I confirm that I report to the president. I know mine. Okay. There should not be any exaggeration here. Okay. I would I would do it piecemeal.
Who was ultimately responsible for your actions at the, at the panel? The president and commander in chief. President and commander in chief. Fantastic. Uh, Did you, and the, your reason for saying that is because you are answerable to the president. Correct. Ah, to another. Well, all these other elements were also answerable to the president. I have said it here that his, his, his sons want them to be in the panel. So it's obvious that, <laughs> why do you want me to confirm? That is, that is you, you seem to be afraid to say that Yaya Jame was ultimately responsible for what happened I, to the panel. I think you have to withdraw that word. Afraid of what? If I was afraid, but then I wouldn't it. be sitting here. But say it. No, no, but don't use that word. Afraid of who? Yaya Jame. You would not say that, that Yaya Jame was afraid of Yaya Jame that. responsible. Afraid of Yaya Jame that. You are afraid to say that Yaya Jame was ultimately responsible for the work of the panel. What the Re panel did. Okay, take it from there. No, no, no. Answer take it the from there. Answer the question. If the question is answered. Take it from there. <laughs> no. That we, I am afraid. Now we would not assume anything and we would not exaggerate anything. Of course. You, you are answer. assuming. You are assuming that I am afraid. Okay. Afraid of what? Okay. We I have already confirmed my own part. So let, if you want to exaggerate let, that let us, I was afraid. Afraid us, of what? Let us not assume. Answer the question. Was Yaya Jame ultimately responsible for the work Done by the panel. I know that this is not a court proceeding. If I say that those junglers or those um, elements were sent by the president, so it is obvious that they report to the president. Are you, are you afraid to say the obvious? Afraid of who? To say the obvious that Yaya Jame was responsible. The obvious, you know, it's very plain. But I don't need to emphasize that. But say it. Say it, General Tamba. Say it that Yaya Jame was responsible for, for what the panel did. But is it not obvious? No, it's not obvious. We, it want, obvious. we want to hear it. Yaya Jame send them. It's obvious. I was sent there by Yaya Jame. It's obvious that I report to Yaya Jame. Yes, no, don't, don't refer to the perhaps, chairman perhaps, is listening. They are all listening. Perhaps it's a simple matter. Perhaps what is obvious need not no 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 emphasis again. Could you allow me to finish? Don't talk over me. Mr. Chair, could you ask the witness to answer yes or no, whether according to what he knows as Lieutenant General, whether Yaya Jame bore ultimate responsibility for what the panel did? It's an easy question. Yes, Yaya Jame was responsible, or no, Yaya Jame was not responsible. You said the answer is obvious because he sent you there. But tell us, answer the yes or no. This is not a court of law where I'll be answering yes or no. You confirm. You say it's obvious. So what next? Uh, if Mr. the judge sends them, it's obvious they report to him. Mr. Chair, then... let me just leave it as one of those situations where the question or the answer is so uncomfortable for the witness to, to, to make. That is not true. That is not true to say that well, it's so uncomfortable. I have given my answer. It's okay. I have given my answer. You have difficulty saying, yes, Yaya Jame was responsible. Yes, I was reporting to Yaya Jame. <laughs> <laughs> Those he sent, it's obvious that they report to him. I said it here. Okay. So how can I say, it? what next do you need from me? Well, what I need from you, I have told you, but you have refused to say it. Counsel, I've said that this is not a court of law. <laughs> the facts are already exposed. What next do you need? I need confirmation from you. I have confirmed that, yes, I was reporting directly to Yaya Jame. But you cannot confirm that Yaya Jame was responsible, ultimately, for the conduct of the panel. For the conduct of the panel? Yes. Of course. He was responsible for us. But Thank those, you very those much. groups you were talking about, I, I don't want to talk about that. Well, you told us mm -hmm. that Yaya Jame sent them there. Certainly. So if he sends them... You, and you don't want him to... If be, he sends them and they report to him, what happens? Then he is responsible. I take it from you. <laughs> but you would accept it. 
Okay, thank you very Council, much. Council, if we are in a court of law, let's proceed. Uh, let's move on, Mr. Chair. Uh, Council, you may continue. Thank you. Witness, you continue. And uh, the Commission would make its own conclusion at, some, at the right moment. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you. Chair. Chairman. Now that Sorry. we have established where the responsibility lay, now let's examine the roles of the various components of the panel. panel So let's start with the panel members. Silang panel members Tell us what was the role of the panel members. Silang panel The panel was panel on in the local moment unravel the facts in respect of the alleged cool plot that was our role so in so doing how would you unravel the facts oh, okay I'll it all started with Bunja Dabo, who was initially arrested. Uh, when he appeared before the panel, uh, allow me to clarify the question. Okay. I know you want to talk about specific incidents. Okay, you know about that, fine. Uh, we would go into the specific incidents. But for now, but for if you want to establish the modus operandi, how the panel was doing its work, and the responsibilities of the various components of the panel. So now we are examining the work of the members of the investigative work of the panel. We which you said is yeah. to unravel the facts. So my question now is, how is, are the facts unraveled before the panel? What is the methodology? Not specific incidents. We will come to the specific incidents later. Now tell me about the working methods. When a particular accused person appears before the panel, and the process takes place just like the way we are doing, we we'll give the person the opportunity to explain what he knows about that allegation. And it was through that and that some of them started mentioning those who were part of the group. General, may I uh, say this? An explanation of the working methods. How? Uh, uh, later we would get into specific examples. What I am expecting is what is the workflow? Do you interview somebody? You send the person to give statements. Uh, do you re-interview? That is the kind of thing I'm looking for. Council, in fact, that was where I was headed to. I have to give the preamble. Then you will understand what I'm saying. I said the first person arrested was Bunja Dabo. Bunja appeared before the panel. He was given the opportunity to, 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 to explain about the allegations yes. of his involvement. Yes. It, it was true that, that Bunja mentioned some of the, the, the members, those, some of those who were involved. 
So after Bunja narrated his statement before the panel, when he moved to another room to go and write his statement, but already he mentioned the involvement of orders. And then a team will be sent to arrest those individuals. And they too will be brought before the panel. And then they, they, they explain we explain to them about the allegations of their involvement of the, in the coup. Then they will arrate, um, um, narrate their, their, their involvement. Then they will be moved to the next office again for statement taking. And this was the process that's what, that was applied by the, by the, by the um, panel. Uh, thank you very much. Are you satisfied as to the lawfulness of the process? Yes, in that process, yes. Uh, we touch upon this a little bit yesterday. You told us that the interview environment was okay. Uh, yes, it was. Do you need a moment? Uh, Mr. General, you need a minute. All right, thank you, no problem. Mr. Chair.
Thank you, Chairman. I'm okay. Thank you. Osha, can you get the lead counsel to come in with? Sorry, the, the hypertension don't match with cool environment. So <laughs> that was using the, the restroom very often. That's why. It's understandable. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, sure. Council, shall we continue? Yes, Mr. Chair, we continue. Thank you. Uh, General, when, uh, when next you feel you need to be excused, you would be just indicate and you'd be excused. Thank you, Council. So now, Silang. you have given us a brief summary of how things worked. Correct, Council. And you are telling this commission that everything was above board. Things were done properly. The best of our ability, yes. Uh, General. General. Yes, Council. The evidence before this commission. Is that this is one big orchestrated enterprise? Ko ni mukule tume ya longo atamandi ni abe ya maro leba koto mimi kwa kalo di pula anyenta tama la nyami. It was all aimed at. Ya abe tili mengama extracting confessions from the alleged culprit. Kuru. Ka solo soto ni mulo bulu mene alonko ye tumiko itelele lafta kuleta kila puri ye song kumakanga la ni nikarla lafta kumakanga lume lumeila by any means necessary. Akoleata nyonya ndi nyama. That is the allegation. Wale tumuroti mfana mfata. And that and we do all these elements. Ni mbunda lume lume da bije performed rules. Aimed at producing a confession. And we love Tamandirinya be be kakenya na kang pro isi song kumo soto ni molo bulu. It was like a machine. Abela koko machine wadoro. Where the elements performed different roles. Dame fengo feng aya function silo le soto abemen Tamandila. With the ultimate objective that the machine would work. Abari hamu mbe abe koma wale masimu ni yetama. And which was to illegally produce confessions. Wale mnyentiko. Hana ni silo manta. Bari kusongo soto ni mulu bulu ike nyinkamena. Do you agree with that or do you disagree? Sonta wale la fe mansonga la. Council, I disagree with that. Council mansonga wala. When you say to illegally. Niko mene silo manta. Illegally obtain confession. We come out to you, Molu Bulu. We song when we lose Amanta. You disagree with that. I disagree with that. Manso wola. General, you would agree with me that torture is unlawful. General, if the court lanyin malako, it agireya mukulad me alangko lua mansonga. It is not only unlawful but inhuman. Amanda lanyin daman na kulua mansonga de, but ani hadama ya fungu Amanta. I can't agree more with you. Did you understand that? Can you follow me? Thank you. Thank you. It you it is you would also agree with me. And kabi ida dakor lam malako. That for confessions to be lawful. Pro songo kamo e si koko kumo boni mo bulay song pro ay kelo ay lo ay ani lo ay ta. They have to be voluntary and freely made by the person. O kuma kwa njia agnyani na kila kuma kwenye demia alonko abata fa umari dino ni nsa wa dereta da budereta da fa la bundi ya kuma kwa njia ndi ani dia kwa. They have to be free and voluntary. That's what I said. Mari fa njia agnyani na rafai yele anua dia nyoka. Freely given and voluntary. Adi dia nyoka na sawoka. 
Do you agree with that? Sondola. I agree, Council. Sondola, Council. Do you agree that also for it to be voluntary? Sondola, you know, for a puro kumakao ni puro ake kuri me alonko adi anye feng kumakao lem. The environment in itself, in which the confession is given, danda ngi ngi ngira me alonko amari alok makao di ida mento. Should be free from threats and pressure. Dingiranya ni nyana tarla, ma dingiranya ni tarla free lina manya ni tarla dero kono. That is true. Umuzo nyanti. And the evidence that we have received. Kumakango main sora jang se dendi rolto. Is that all these confessions your panel received? Yung kumakango main be ali sora mol bulo kono ayi na ila panelo molu. We are based on torture and threats. Based. Chukit ni suji tani mna wolem tajire ya ni silandiro la. Both of which render those confessions unlawful. Dena rana sababu mna wolem ni mola insongola bena nata kikule ni mianoko alua mansongola nuanta iyalem. And the torture aspects of it. Tajire ya mengfana ngeta la ofana la. Renders all those who participated in this enterprise liable for torture. Onat na sabab mol men be ma be ta nyin tajire ya nyin kono ol be du no be kan ne kolla me alako e menge me mutajire yaati Council I disagree with you when you say Council man som e me nyin foko that the confessions were as a result of the torture o mol la som kuma lu e men fo nya tajire ya le sondi General let me make this clear General ba do nga nyin sene yandi It is not me who is saying that it was Made out out of torture. It was obtained out of torture. Ndawa amanke ni dintela kumakamu le ni dika fuko ni mla ni songo ni asorada ni ame ngole mtajire ya rimel la teka. I offer no opinion on the evidence. Ndawa mhani mire mire kumke ni dafa o kumani kamu ni ndo. What I am putting before you. Ndawa mengi tande kilande ke ila ni ati limola. What I'm putting forward to you is that this is the allegation or the suggestion of the witnesses who appeared before the commission. This is the evidence that we have. Do you agree that the confession was made out of torture? This is the evidence that we have. And because you are part of the panel, we have an obligation to put this to you. And you give us your own version of things. But of course, the investigative process requires that we also challenge you. And um, kis kis ro ni nasilo fana me volem ni ndoa me nasilo me ni ndoa fana volem ni ndoa fana funga kuma kwa ni ngafin di ni nyati limola. And confront you with the evidence. Na kuma kwa ni nga ni nga 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 fai nga landi nyati limola. So that you may respond to them. Isaje o tu miro ni kuma kwa ni mfote ya ma isaje financi oli jabi. It is only after you have responded. Ni nga adraite jabi ro di lembro. Ni tu miro la ni jabi ro di ni tu miro tolem. Provided whatever evidence you have in your favor, then the commission would be able to put all that together. Try to separate the weed from the chaff. And try to identify the truth of what has happened. So it is not my position among kentela lo dulati when i give you propositions ndinga na miro dira forget about what you think i have in mind it's just Nina, that nyina ko la ndinga men so don sondo moko no i have an obligation to bring the evidence to you nyin lon don ko lon ko nyin mon ka lon ko do nolti pour nga kuma kawo nyi sey dar kuma kawo nyi ngi fin din di nyaati limula jang commission o nyaati limula and give you the opportunity to respond sina na si lo di la pour defa na yow tu miro nyi ye jabi none of what i say here fente jang ngam fo jang represent my personal opinions fente jeme alon ko defa ko ndingola mira lo lam most often my personal opinion does not matter and dum han ka bi fa defa ko ndingo nyi man ko maya jang I don't even make the decisions. But I have to bring things out in a way to enable the commission to make up uh, its findings. But when you come out, you can't even find the side. You can't make a commission financial. You can't load a lot of work. You can't make a kundu. You can't make a kundu. So if I suggest to you, you did something. You can't even make a deal. You can't make a deal. It's not me, in fact, saying that you. 
you did something it's Ma just the evidence manke nyindi ntele kundi ngoko itele oke kumaka unyinde ya findi ndi onyama which shows that you have maya itandiko yake allegedly to be rock on do and done something iyo oko nyinke whether that is true or false depends on the evidence that comes out. Uh, I hope uh, the process is understood. Council, I fully understood you. And I am not alleging that those are your own makings. I know you are reading from the statements made by the witness, their confession here. So I wouldn't say that you are fabricating those statements. But coming to that allegation by the those um, 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 witnesses. In fact, I will let the commission know that the reason why we requested for the GRTS TV to be present it was following their confession about their involvement in the coup. But that was why we recommend we suggested that let their confession be taken. Mm. So that in the future when they come to make certain allegations, people can refer to those tapes that were recorded. And going back to those allegations made, I want to say here clearly that when Bunya was first arrested, he was the first person we knew about his involvement. And he appeared before the panel. I am sitting here to say the truth and nothing but the truth. Bunya was seated before the panel. And the issues were raised with him. And Bunya confessed to his participation in the coup. He gave a detailed narration. And it was Bunya at that moment who mentioned the involvement of some of the officers. That was how the panel was able to know about the involvement of some of them. I will tell you, I've never seen such a smooth panel like that one. And simply, anybody um, arrested amongst the panelists or the panel, yeah. the accused person, sorry, they confess freely before the panel. Without any torture or intimidation. And Mr. Whitman, that was. Uh, let me ask some questions, and then when we pass this point, okay. you can go okay. on. Okay. okay, counsel. You were surprised by these results that all of them were confessing. True. That's what you said. Yes. Ah. Why was it necessary to bring Fodebari and Baba Saho? Well, it was at the request of the president. Maybe he alone can, can talk about that. Mr. Witness, you told me that uh, the first instance you you know, that things were difficult. That's why the president suggested that Baba Saho and Fodebari be brought in. True or false? That is why I said it's up to the president. But now you're refusing to accept 
the main reason why those people were brought in. You were not making any headline. No, certainly they were brought in by the, by the president. The reason, I may not know. The reason, the reason was very obvious. Uh, the the you said you were not making much headway, so the president asked that you bring in. Four hundred million dollars. 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 But the evidence is from you that the president's assessment was that you are not making much headway so bring in for the body and Baba that's only that evidence is before you take it but that, that evidence is from you. Confirm it. That's what I'm saying. If that evidence is before you, take it. That is from me. Uh, let's make it easy. Council, council, I don't think we're here for any laughing matter. Okay? Because if, if you are laughing, I am also laughing. Who will not make a headway? If I am the one who made that that, that, that statement, take it. What I'm saying, saying simple. Ata, asolo yata, ata. Mr. Witness, Sede. I am laughing because I want to lighten up the situation. Katu nafta kulu solo yandi la leke ka wola yola wola kanjelendi. I don't want the opposite. But uh, you can see that some of your insistence is not much helpful. You are telling us, you are telling us not to talk about possibilities. We should rely on realities. But here you are telling me if I have said it. Taking me to the realm of possibilities, then take it. Why can't you just confirm that, yes, I said it? That is the truth. What's, your, what's the problem saying that? And so, I want you to know that what I've said here things in the morning is, is too much. So I don't think you, you expect me to remember all that. But that was why I said, if I said it, then take it that I said it. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If I said it, take it that I said it. I think that, that closes the chapter. So the truth depends on whether you said it or did not say it. Is that the case? If I have said that, take it that I said it. Uh, I will not belabor the point anymore. But this is a simple matter. If I said it, and you confirm that I said it, I say take it that I said it. So what do you have to belabor that again? I'll take it at that. You said it. it. I said it. I said it. Why are you telling me? I'm not telling you. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, now, you said the first person arrested was Bunja. Correct, counsel. And uh, you said that his confession was obtained free from torture. And so I can swear to the Holy Quran that following the arrest of Bunja, that very day at night he was brought before the panel. And without anybody touching Bunja, even, he confessed about the coup. 
Asonta kuleta ninakuwa. His involvement. Atalama bio atara alataro akono. And he was the very one who started mentioning some of the officers who were part of the crew. Alu tumu lang ayada mutaka officer lo ni kwenye formu lo kuleta. General. General. Are you trying to cover up? Iba kataka ni puruka kuni mabo bang. The terrible things that happened before that panel on that night. Kujawuli mimi kada panelo to wulu wosuto la. Yes or no? Ha wala hani. There is nothing that happened that will warrant me to cover. Kumang kana sa kendi ntesi kuli mabo. Thank you very much. Kulumbara. And it would therefore be your testimony. Amunda wotoa be kilete la sierra roleti ko. That the witness or the accused or the suspect was not intimidated. Wala mnyenti ko iye mmoja sedo ying wala sabo keta mna wala muda mo ying ima silang difemfena. Those are the facts. Wala mnyenti onyati. It would also therefore be your view. Amunda utoko abekela itela jero leti ko that he was not threatened in any way. Ima silang dinyao nyang dinyama. Not to my knowledge. Mamba kalama. Okay, let's. Let hear from Bunja. Sayin na Bunja la moy. What he has to say about what has happened before the panel. I mem soto abem I mem for mem keta panel o niya tini mula. May I ask the OB van to play the video of Bunja Dabo? OB van ali Bunja Dabo la sede aro bundi. In the handcuff. What do you mean? Asking me questions. I told them I need a lawyer before I said anything. First of all, let's establish who was present and how many people were present. There were many, I think about 20 people were in the room at that time. And then um, the most prominent among them were Lanto Montama, the, this, the, this um, Haidara from the NIA. Uh, Lanto Montamba, what was, who was he at the time? He was the deputy um, uh, CDS at that time. Where was the CDS on that day? The CDS was not, um, I didn't know where he was, you know. The CDS was, CDS was in Bhutan, and um, I didn't know where he was at that time. Uh, was Lang Tombong at that stage acting as, acting CDS? Did he have any <coughs> soldier serving above him at the time? No, they were known. He was the, after the, the CDS, he was next. And the CDS, of course, was involved in the coup attempt. Exactly. So therefore, at that stage, he was no longer serving as CDS. Yes. So, so the position, the mantle, fell to Lang Tombo. Exactly. Right. And at that stage, he was the de facto head of the army. Exactly. So he was sitting there. Yes. In the investigative exactly. panel. Who else? Um, you have the former Inspector General of Police, Usman Songo, was also there. Proceed. And then you have Alaji Martin, was there too. Alaji Martin, at this stage, what was his rank? He was a lieutenant. In which unit of the army did he belong to? He was serving at the State Guard, State Guard Battalion. Who else? Uh, Tumbul Tamba. Tumbul Tamba, to which unit did he belong? Also at the State Guard and also, you know, part of the junglers. Part of the junglers. Yes. Okay. And who else? And then uh, Mamul Lamin Sise was also, you know, it uh, belongs to the um, serious crime unit of the police force. And also Boto Keta. Mm -hmm. um, you have um, others, you know, uh, Lamin Cham, you know, also from the serious crime unit, you know. Uh, and then a couple of other junior officers, you know, um, um, from, from different services, you know, the police and the, and the, and the military. And Earlier on, you mentioned a Mr. Haidara. Yes. Was he present? He was present. So you said this was an investigative panel. Exactly. Uh, from your observation, who was the leader of the panel or the chairman of the panel? I wouldn't be sure who was the leader of the panel, um, but I could say that now these three people, um, Lanto Montama, Usman Sonko, and uh, Hydra, we are the ones who were leading the investigation, of course. <coughs> but I wouldn't be sure who actually was the was the leader among them. Um, 
what I realized was that most of the questions um, were asked by Hydra, but of course in consultation with Lanto Montamba and also uh, Usman Sonko. Uh, Obi-Van, could you pause it there? Just pause it there for a little bit. So far, is he lying? Or he's still So far. Lied about what? Well, I, I, I take it that then he's being truthful. So far. No, I just asked the question whether yes. so far mm -hmm. from what we heard mm -hmm. is he being truthful because what i understood was he was trying to mention that we were part of the panel so far is he truthful or he is not truthful if so he, far if he talked about torture he is uh, not being truthful general you just listen to me mm -hmm. i'm saying so far yes up to that point is he being truthful? Yes, he was right that I was part of the panel. And all these things he has said are also true. That he was arrested. That also there were other people. He has mentioned the names. And I told for I've, I've, I've mentioned the names that I, that I, 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 I saw were there. What I have mentioned before the commission here. General. Uh, if only you listen carefully to my question, some of these back and forth, we would not have it. Did you hear anything that he has said so far? I heard the mention those who are in the panel. Did you hear him say anything so far which you believe is a lie? Those, those who were present at the panel, I have said it here. What is the problem? I am meant to confirming those I knew were at the panel. Uh, General, so how can I confirm what he said? He, uh, he mentioned so many people. No, you are missing the point. You are missing the point. Okay. The point is, mm -hmm. so far, mm -hmm. Did you hear anything that he has said which you believe is a lie? Council, I understand English, so no need to translate to Wolof. What I said, when I was asked here, the members of the panel, when I, was, I mentioned those I knew. I had him mention some police officers who were there. Those are people I don't know. I, I never had an interaction with them. So that is why it is difficult for me to confirm what he said, that it is true. Like he mentioned some police officers, Keta and the like. These are people I don't know. It would not be right for me to, to, to say what he said so far is, is right. So at at three member for side. This is the answer I was looking for. All I wanted is your view. As to whether you have any reason for a Dalilosodole believe that what he is saying so far is not true. That's all I was looking for. You understand? Yeah, Thank you. Could you resume playing the video, please? Um, the head of NIA, I think, was uh, Deba Marina, who was also, you know, was arrested. And then I think um, Hydra must have been the one, you know, acting. I'm not sure, but, you know, that's what I... I, I thought at that time. So, can you tell us how the investigation was being conducted and the things that happened there? Uh, but before that, you you uh, tell us what tell us what happened to the escorts, those who brought you to the NIA. Where were they at this time? Yeah, they were also inside the room there. And what happened to their arms? They were having the arms with them. 
So, so you mean you had armed men standing there? Yes. And and exactly where were they standing? They are standing at the corners that they you know around the room. You know they were standing um, behind you know the, the you know at the you know against the wall you know of the of the conference hall. You know they have you know they have their weapons with them. Was that environment free? No, the the environment was like you. The environment was, was being investigated. The environment was intimidating. Uh, so how about Michael Sang Korea and uh, Mumodu Jaju, Nuhabaji and others? Where were they? Yeah, they, they were there, you know. And then um, for some, after some time, you know, they were asked to go and collect some other um, uh, people, detainees. So they left. But there are other other um, um, elements, you know, left, you know, in the hall. You know, those who are there for purposely to secure the, um, the you know. Uh, just point of clarification. You had mentioned Alaji Martin. Yes. Where was he at this moment? He was there. He was in the room. So. So when you arrived and you were, they started asking you questions. You told the commission that you said you wanted a lawyer. Yes. Can you tell us uh, how they received that? What, how did they re react to that? Yes. So when I um, I told them that I needed a lawyer before I you know before um, I could say anything, and then they, they 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 were not very happy with that statement. You know, I told them that it's my constitutional right also to have a lawyer. You know, before I can make any statement here, but they um, then. Alaji Martin um, um, just said, you know, you think we are joking here? You know, so... Um, Did he say that in a friendly manner? No. And then, you know... Um, in which manner did he say that? He said it very sternly. But, you know, they were not joking at that place. So, so you know, he walked around um, the table. He walked around the table and then, you know, came behind me. And then, you know, he just gave me a back slap and then... Um, um, Let, take it easy, slowly. You want to understand what he did to you. Yes. Maybe you should just demonstrate to us, just so so us how it happened, so us the action as you remember it. No, I the actual, the, actually no, I cannot be able to show you know because I don't want to. I don't know if people want to play. You know, the, it, it's, it's very traumatizing for me to be play. But we what understand. Yes. You are excused from doing that. We don't want to have you re-traumatized. Exactly. exactly. So tell us what he did. Yes, yeah, so, you know, he came just behind me and then, they give, you know, he gave me a back slap. You know, I think you all understand what a back slap is, you know, so... Um, you mean a slap? Slap, he slapped me from, the, from behind. You from know, behind. You know, he came be from behind me and then slapped me. Okay, so um, after that, he, you know, he, you know, held my, the collar of my shirt and then he, you know, he pulled it. You know, it, it has buttons. So the buttons, you no know, peel off. And they sat, you know, he pressed it to my waist level so that, you know, I remained, you know, half naked. He assaulted you? Yes. He slapped you? Yes. How did you feel? How did I? Did How did you feel when he did that? Yeah, I feel, I feel some pain, but also, you know, I, you know, I feel some bitterness also. I felt some bitterness also and helplessness. And what happened after that? Uh, before that, did anybody, did any member of the panel say anything? Nobody said anything. Uh, no one said anything. Lang Tompong Tamba, he was deputy CDS at the yes. time. He was the acting CDS at the time. Yes. He was the de facto leader of the army at the time. Yes. You, he was responsible for you as a soldier, wasn't he? Yes. Did he as say a, as a, yes, as, as of that time, you know, I was not um, um, charged of any crime, so um, I was not uh, charged, so I was still, you know, a member of the armed forces. Did he say anything? No, he didn't say anything. QTV, you could pause it there for a little while. So, General. General. And so? So, you heard the witness. He said, oh, my Yes, I heard what he said. He is the victim. Now, my I'm for. And uh, he said it was not so free from torture and intimidation after all. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go. Jay, remember, I can Jay, 
amunta tajiri ya ani silanduro imantan kanu wama that is not true council your suggestion is that this witness is lying. This thing he said never happened. That Alaji Martin came and slapped him from behind. And forcibly pulled his clothes. Leaving, leaving him almost half naked. Your suggestion is that this is false. This is false. Please go. Like I said earlier on, Mundia's involvement was the one was the first to be known. Himself and Burcha. After that, a team was prepared from the state guards. Uh, uh, Mr. Arrest him. Uh, I have to make this intervention. I am sorry, General. Uh, could you answer the question? This is not how Bunja was arrested. This is not about whether he was the first or the one hundred or the last to be arrested. The question is whether Bunja was slapped by Alaji Martin at for. this point when he was being interrogated. For Nim Bunja, for ya Alaji Martin ya koma tul bunda bangko atia for nyame bang. You Nimbikira. said this is false, and you are going to tell us reasons why it is false. Iko ni mang kum ni mukulere mamu kumasoro mamu mamu mangke kumasoro ni mukumasoro balol tando ibe dalilo falanya ne meyad ne yovo. Let us focus on that point. Silanga nyati lingo fanala. If we want to broaden it, then we, this would not end. Huh? Let's just be disciplined and focus on that point. Um, chairman, with utmost respect, this commission has been set up to unravel the truth. Such allegations are made by Bunja, and he was given the opportunity to make those allegations. And I am here seated here before you. I think I should be given the opportunity to explain what led to his arrest and up to that point that he said he was beaten in my presence. If I don't say no, it's not true, and then that's full stop. Then I've not been given the opportunity to explain what, what happened. I think, you know, for me, I believe if we are to take one week even, let us be allowed to, to give our own version. Just the same way they were allowed before you here to give their version. I cannot understand how I can just jump and say it's not true and then end it up there. The allegations he made were following his arrest, certainly. And I have to start from somewhere else and then come up to when he appeared before the panel to give a complete overview to the commission. This is my understanding. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, perhaps before you rule on that. Sorry, yeah. Generally, you are not being denied General, the, opportunity, uh, the opportunity to um, go back um, to the beginning of what you would want to say. The question was very, very um, uh, specific. What um, uh, the witness and what Bunya had said, counsel asked you a specific question on that one. Just answer that um, question, and uh, then at some point, you would get the opportunity to talk about Bunya's um, uh, initial arrest and uh, what that led to. So it's a question of um, uh, timing. Uh, if we take um, counsel back um, to the uh, arrest um, period, that takes us, um, uh, I mean, we lose um, a track of uh, what exactly the line of questioning that he's, uh, he's, um, he's trying to uh, uh, implement. So if you, if you don't mind, go, please go ahead, answer the specific question. Counsel, can you put it again? And uh, if you can answer that question, and uh, we will proceed. But you are not being denied the opportunity. You're going to get it. Please, counsel, we well, proceed. Like Mike. Mike. Sorry, thank you. Bunja Davo testified 
that when he came before the panel ko kabriya samba nyi panelo nyaatili ngola he was being interrogated ya nyini ngale and alaji martin spoke to him sternly and alaji martin ndiamutaye and ndiamo nyi ngabambanda bambandile you think we are joking here kaye ko yami rambe jambe fiala jam and he came round to him alaji martin wulita murumurunta nadan nawala and gave him a slap from behind anata nat ko matulubu and then alaji martin and njeto ako alaji martin pull down his clothes anata na dondi ko muta ya saba leaving him almost half naked before the panel anata na kense ya bala kense yandi is that true fo mu tonyal ti ba or is it false o tonyante ansul it is not true ansul tonyante simply because Kadu, how can you beat somebody who was at the time speaking the truth? Uh, so for me, Martin had no cause to, to beat him. Because at that particular time, um, um, Bunja already confessed on his involvement. But, okay. Let's take it a step backwards. At what um, time um, are you talking about? The first day he was arrested. At what time in that day are you talking about? Montoro what did you ma o numuni be men fo kan den. All I know it it was during the night. The ngola men long ngola msuto. The question I meant to ask. Yinin ka ronga men paren de purka yinin ka. The witness said. Sedo ko he refused to talk balante la gadiamu he said he wanted a lawyer ko la ta lawyer la membe lola e he said it was his constitutional right ko nyimma la loi e sembo diala la ko pura la nyanto le nyindi loi e men diala and then martin stated to him sternly and martin ye nyim faye ko do you think we are joking here ya mira be fe alla jamba and he got up and martin wulita he moved to where he where the witness was sitting martin wulita tata tarandi be dame da ta bunja gave him a slap from behind and nata na tulu koma tulu bum and pull down his clothes nata na don diko fana muta ta bunja la don diko sabala leaving him almost half naked nata na bala ken sem tu is that true po mu to nyalti ba that is not true that is not true concern ka ko man ka to nyati general general the victim the victim said this is what happened to him mola membe ko le yakona ko nyine ketala so whatever the victim says is the truth you have, to, you have to first listen to the question okay the victim said this is what martin did to him mola membe ko le yakona ko martin ye nyine kala and you are present and you tebe mabe ri ngere you said that is a lie and ko mu fani yaldi were you present you accept therefore that he you were present during his interrogation edu be benu maberi ngere sonda nyina ko wato me nay baata bunja nyini ngale be maberi ne yes i was present ha mi gele what if alaji martin accepts that he did it say no ninga tra alaji martin sonda ko ayo kele dum let him accept ay so wala but not to my knowledge rende bum bakala but you were sitting there bari tebe siri ngele yes ah I can be sitting there and yet not to my knowledge. It is a serious jelly but you know back alama. Wouldn't that appear to be just mere denial for the killer who need to go balancing all them to save oneself. Pour que fang tankandi. So if I say not to my knowledge and Martin confirms that he did it that does not mean that it is not true. Because he did the act accept it. If I say not to my knowledge, then which one will, will stand? Ninde ko mum ba kala ma adun meyake o fono nata lo ko to nyala a yawle ke. Ah woto sila mu ne ko moti sila. You take it from him. Sata la ko mota. So we accept what Martin has said that it's in fact true that he was tortured. Ngam be sonna nyin na ko Martin en nam fo ko ya yeni libale. Take it from him. If I say not to my knowledge you know it not to my knowledge ninde ko mum bakala ma de mum bakala ma woto ma de la ko mota but the thing is it, that does not take us to the end of the matter 
The witness said you are the CDS. You are the head, you are seated there. Point of correction, I was in the CDS, I was the most senior. Yes. Well, this was on the 21st, the very day of the coup, I was not appointed yet. Very fair point. But de facto, you are the head of the army at that time. True. Being, being the most senior. Yes. Yes. You agree. Ha, it's on right. And you were seated there. And your soldier. Il a soldier was slapped by yeah, Martin. Yeah, to know Bumandu Martin Neokala. His clothes almost stripped from him. Yeah, la fengol fara la danaka. You sat there. Il a siringe. You said nothing. Il m'en fait un You did nothing. Il m'en coupe. That is a fundamental violation of his rights. Vous me coulez de meilleur langue ou à la nyantole nyantole tignata woto. You agree. Il s'en va. I disagree. I have said before this panel that there were people who were not under our control who came to the panel separately. And I think I did mention that category of people. Okay. Let's get it clear. Martin who slapped the guy and try to strip him of his clothes leaving him almost half naked was not under your command that's what you want us to say I think we already certified here that there was a team that was sent by the president that came purposely you know, for the president and you did mention that, you did confirm that Martin Musa Jame and the rest. And we follow that one and the Martin Musa Jame and Indulu. They were there on the instruction of the president. Exactly, precisely. Suggested in any way. Mama Mira ni nyado nyama. That they were under your command. Ko oibela kangole koto. All I have said about command mm -hmm. is that Bunja mm -hmm. was under you. Bunja He was presented there. Somebody else Modo Kotem under a different command tortured him. Where You were sitting there. It We saying it is unlawful. You agree. You agree. Council, I will let you know that in the panel set up, we were totally against any torture, any form. And we, we condemn it at any time. I've said it here, the, the accused persons, Whenever they appear before the panel, after their testimony, they take him back to mile two by the jungles. We are expanding now. Let's focus, let's focus on what happened in that room. Okay. Okay. We accept that Alaji Martin was not under your authority. We accept that he was not under your control. Right? And you may therefore not take responsibility for his actions. You may have been against torture. And you may have condemned torture. But torture happened. The witness was slapped. His clothes were almost stripped of him. You agree that was wrong. And he sent out a call to make money. That was wrong, counsel. Thank you very much. I will give an example. Uh, 
could you just allow me to proceed? Later you can give examples. I know you want to talk about firing. We will come to firing. Okay? Okay, Council Asuiz. Thank you. So it was wrong to torture Bunjadabo. Muntaleko Amanyang Purka Bunjadabo Katajirea. Certainly it was wrong. If it had happened. Well, General, you can huff and puff at the same time. You've just told us it was wrong. Yeah, if it had happened, it, ha it is wrong. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Maybe you just only realizing that you have accepted that this thing has happened and it was wrong. So you're trying to make a recovery. So this is why I say, let us, be, let us remind ourselves, this is not a court order. Why is it that when I give my understanding, counsel, you will go against that? That is my understanding. You should take that. If you want to go against that, then probably this is a court sitting. Uh, I will just proceed. Uh, it didn't end with, uh, with this guy. He talked about how his confession was obtained. Uh, could you continue to play the the video, please? Obiva. IGP. Did he say anything? No. Nobody said a word. No one said a word. From your own assessment. Did it appear to you that they endorsed or accepted or tolerated uh, the conduct of Alaji Martin? Certainly. How did you feel? How did you feel realizing that? Yeah, so I, I feel bad about it. I feel, you know, I just I said I felt, you know, so much helplessness, you know, and bitterness also, you know, because I was, I was on arm. I, you know, I, I couldn't defend myself. I couldn't do anything. So I was at their disposal. So whatever they did to me, you know, um, I couldn't do anything. And what happened after that? So what happened after that, you know, he, you know, the same Alag Martin went and brought a um, second statement um, and put it before me. And then, you know, when I read the statement, I realized, you know, the incrimination of second in the, you know, he, you know, he actually incriminated me in the coup. Um, and then um, uh, he turned around and said, you know, I told, I told him, you know, before he said anything, I told him um, what Sekan said here is not true. And he said to me, you know, Sekan will never lie against you. You know, so um, that was his belief because um, I believe, you know, he believed that um, Sekan was my closest, you know, colleague and um, also um, my batchmate. So whatever he said about against me, you know, would only be the truth. So that was his belief. So later, you know, I was um, I was asked to um, I was in, uh, was asked to um, take my statement, and then you know he like Martin told me, um, okay, um, sarcastically, you know, he told me, you know, after you have you know spoken, you have you know made a statement, then you know we will allow you to have a lawyer. So Bodoketa escorted me to a small room, you know, just at the entrance of the conference hall. And then um, he told me when we entered the conference hall, you know, with some, you know, um, some arm one, um, two arm escort. He told me, look, you know, you have to, you know, give a statement because, you know, just to be free from the torture and also um, so that you can rest. So I decided to um, make a statement, um, actually, you know, taking um, account of what Second said, you know, um, about me in, the, in his statement, that I was the one who was supposed to write the, uh, the uh, was, I was the one who was supposed to read the, 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 make the announcement of the coup, you know, I was to make the speech, you know, and then um, he said also that, you no, know, I, I knew everything about the coup things like that. So I also mentioned the same thing, you know, in my statement. 
Why did you have to do that? Yeah, because I had no other choice. I, I was already, you know, incriminated by Sekan, you know, who was also part of the coup. He, you know, he knew everything about the coup. So if he said things like that, you know, I couldn't be able to free myself from that. So I had to agree to make the statement. Did you make that statement freely and voluntarily, out of your own free will? No, that statement you know, couldn't have been you know, taken you know, voluntarily because I, always, I demanded for a lawyer to be present before I took, could take a statement. They refused. So, you know, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we did, when I was confronted with second statement, I could not just, you know, um, um, deny, you know, because there's going to be full time for me to deny. Second, we knew about it, and then you know he, you know he, he was giving, even giving some responsibilities, you know, and then he turned around and then you know um, 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 revealed the coup, and then I was arrested. So obviously, you know, I was, I was, I was to accept whatever you know um, has to come. So it, in that room, I was there, you know, with um, Botoketa. So I gave the statement, and Botoketa took the statement to the um, to the panel but they were not happy with what I wrote in the statement. And then um, they told Dr. Keda that no, they gave him some other points that they want me to write in the statement. So Dr. Keda came and explained. And, and can you tell us what those points were, if, if you can recall? Yeah, um, some of those points were, you know, um, they wanted to know how, you know, who are the people, you know, who normally used to come to, uh, um, not the, you know, not this, you know, they said not the senior officers, but those people, you know, who used to come to visit the, um, um, to visit um, the Cham. Uh, could you, know, you and could then you also, uh, they wanted to know. Could you stop it there? So, Mr. Witness. Um, Mr. Sero. Uh, I let it play on for a while so that you could hear the other elements that he talked about. What uh, you heard, you heard the witness clearly state that he was told by the statement takers if you want it easy on you, you have to talk. He's just been slapped. He's been slapped. Close, almost stripped of him. He said the environment was intimidating. And he had to give a statement. He was presented with an incriminating statement. And expected that he would confirm and what is in there. Is the witness lying? Counsel, the witness is lying. Counsel, this same witness appeared before the court marshal. He is a defensive lawyer. A new lawyer, men not I. The very free environment. He denied his involvement. And his appearance before the panel. Confess his you know, involvement. This same witness sat on this chair here. And confirmed his involvement. In fact, he said more dangerous things before this panel. So what kind of witness do you think this man is? Should, be, this, should he be a trusted witness? Uh, you are asking me a question. Certainly. Mr. Witness, I don't answer questions. I ask, I ask the question. Okay, I will leave that to the commission. Very well. On this particular issue, did the witness lie? Are you denying that he was sent to the corner with Botoketa to write his statement? Certainly, somebody has to take his statement, and the statement was taken. So, so that was true. 
That was to his statement was taken. And it could not be taken in, in the hall. And the attorneys of Yano Law would have said the, it before this panel that there was an office that was assigned. The statement taker will stay in that office, and then anybody who, who is to be taking statement will go there. Ina fola fanko e bulu nani le e be kumaka mulo tala dami andu mumu ni be kumaka mudi la e kasamba bulu nako. In fact, Mr. Witness, uh, you said oh, what the witness has just done, you said oh, me fanke, is to show that that environment of which you were a part, o dan dan oni na ita fanga bda be dami ndo was intimidating. Dingira la me ya longo amantra be afansa ola ya be deteri ne. And they use torture and threats. And we can now move on in Tajiriani Silandirola to secure his confession. Isaja is a son of Kumakangola. You violated his rights. And Yala Nyanto Tinya. That's what he said. I will have for. Um, see, counsel, hence you did not allow me to explain what led to this witness arrest and up to him appearing before the panel so i'll continue denying i will not <coughs> and you will not see the reason why i disagree with him but all what he said I disagree with him, except that his statement was taken in a particular room out of the, the panel setup. Uh, I would, I would accommodate your request. Sir? Explain how he was arrested. But one would wonder how he was arrested has anything to do with whether he was slapped by Alaji Martin at the hall. But more than Jack and the Nina Yamut and Yaming and Alaji Martin Natana Kubus and Yadi or Honikono. But I would indulge you, go ahead. I think and we have passed that stage dealer. of Alaji Martin slapping him. I've given give my response to that already. Okay, but all I have done, therefore, is to summarize that situation. And to say that the witness said, yes, he confessed, but he confessed because he was tortured. Wala ni dika huko siri wengine kutoa nyaya sonda la yemeva ubari ya alau songo ni aketa ni ndeto la kono katu ya by alaji martin in your presence. Kanu alaji martin wale atulubuza aninga la fengo lugura la itifanya nyati limola. If you wish, you could say that well you are not rest you have no responsibility over that, or you tell us that it's not true. Ni ngai tala ite jikita ni nako ite man buluzoro kwa ni ndoa fanya doa doa mangeto nyati. That was that was why I said I was not aware. That remains my position. <laughs> Selective amnesia. That is, if you see it that way, fine. You, you see no evil and you hear no evil. If those are your conclusions, fine. Even <laughs> though you are surrounded by evil. If those <laughs> are your conclusions, fine. So I'm, I'm just putting propositions to you for you to adopt. Or to adopt to what? To, I've said, <laughs> I've given my answer. So to adopt what again? I would move on to the next one. But perhaps, Mr. Chair, it's 2 o'clock. Uh, yeah, yeah. Before we go for the lunch break, uh, let's give him the opportunity to um, uh, make the point on uh, the rest of uh, Mamunya Dabo. But before, before that um, uh, witness, uh, let me just take you back, if you don't mind, yes, to yeah. the Elijah Martin situation in the room. Yes, yeah. you, if, Just for the record, I want you to confirm very clearly that you did not see Elijah Martin get up from where, wherever he was seated, to go on to Bunja Dabo, give him a slap, and then tear um, uh, his uh, clothes um, uh, off his um, uh, body. Where you were seated, and where Martin was seated, you did not see him get up at all, and uh, um, uh, went to Bunja and they gave him a slap? Chairman, I cannot remember seeing Martin slapping him. Certainly, if I saw him doing that act, I would have been the first person to condemn it. 
Hence, we have not reached that stage. But later in, the, in these proceedings here, I will refer you to the statement of um, 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 Faring Sanyang. When I saw the condition that he was at the time, and I saw him with a lot of injuries, my reaction was, 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 was very clear to parent himself. I reacted, I reacted bitterly. In fact, because Paring could not give, uh, um, uh, he could not testify before the panel that day because of the injuries. What I did was I requested for a new team. And I, I, I also called Alaji Martin and Alaji Martin to escort Paring back to the place to, to mile two. Because I did not want the team that brought him to take him back to cause him more injuries again, more torture, which they did on the way coming. So, on uh, the uh, incident, you just don't remember it happening. You're not saying that uh, Bunja lied. It did not happen in my presence. Because if it happened in my present, I was going to see. Amanke nyala, yo, mafa kita nyala, amanke nyala, de barbitu, nina jenu mbafu lale. And so, Chairman, it was this same Bunya who denied his involvement in the coup. Yung Bunya kini ule soso roke kafate dama antara kudu eta yungkono nun. He sat on this chair and confessed that yes, it was a coup, he was involved. So how could this kind of people be trusted? If he can deny his involvement there, at the court martial, before the panel he confessed his involvement, denied at the court martial, he was on this chair and confessed his involvement, and he even you know, strengthened his position to say if the president of a particular country is not doing the right thing, and when I tell you, for Falanco, Banco, Sotom, Nimbanco, Sotom, the president of Mantra, the Dibonia, the military was involved. I think you also intervene and, and, and advise him. What was so the ruling and affair, Kela, or President of the Barina Mira, it is for the double idea of Mokono Jelea Yamari. I watched that proceedings and I saw you advising that if the president is not um, 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 doing the right thing whatsoever. It is not right for the military to stage a coup. You advise him on that. So this kind of people, how could they be trusted? And he was also already a grief. So we don't expect him to sit here and say the writings. Thank you, Chair. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Um, uh, you may now proceed with um, uh, your point on his arrest. On the issue of Bunja, Bunja Bunja was the first person who knew about this coup plan by Ndurcham. So his involvement was clear. When he was first arrested, he appeared before the panel that day. He was the one who mentioned the names of the other coupies. And I can swear to the Holy Quran again. We seated him comfortably. And he was asked to explain. That was how he explained about the coup. Without, nobody touched him. In fact, the, we have the recordings on the GRTS TV. And a recording in many years, a bear record, William GRTS, the television, we are better. You could, rec um, you could uh, request for those tapes. I'll see your tape on Kalim Nole. And you play them. And you can make your own assessment whether this man making this confession was tortured or not tortured. I'll see a Jube on the fire. I'll see a Jube photo. I'll see a Tajire. I'll see a Bang for my Tajire. So, all what they are doing now. 
is to take advantage to sit before this commission and say whatever they want. But these same people probably will sit there while our details were in mile two. As he came on the foot of the but we don't know the mile two. Planned and wanted to try to retaliate. And we ferocity to pull Kajo by implicating orders. Pull Kajo to follow the law to the court. We are not even part of that particular court they were accused of. Many are long ago. We will follow the damn entire court they are accused of. But because they were part of those that 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 led their court martial. But why did it take more than that? Many are long ago. Many are still kicking the. Soldier Kito Bundala and implicated them. And the Lafero Minister, the Prime Minister, who who appeared before this commission, Yaya Dabo, said it. Now we are saying we can only see the young Yaya Dabo Ayafole. So that was how myself and Fofana, Sajo Fofana, we were in the middle of the Sajo Fofana. We are again implicated. We are telling Fofana to talk. We are part of that coup at that moment. We are telling Fofana that we could not have done it. Sajo Fofana was the court president of the court master. Because Sajo Fofana was president of the Soldier Kito. Chairman, when we read that, I'll give a detailed brief of that. Chairman, you know that what you do, you must start a little, start a seminar with men from all over. So the issue of Bunya, Bunya, not be trusted. No, can I lie? That's what I want to say. Left on the floor, Jam. Thank you, but the act does require us to provide them opportunity, people who claim to be victims, to come and give us some account of what, how they suffered the violation of their human rights. We are carrying out an obligation. Um, on us um, by the, uh, given to us by the, uh, the, the National Assembly, and uh, we will um, do that without um, failure or, or fear. <laughs> Mbatamandi la nyale mamea lonko Mbetilinale Ntefasari kela Ntefisimante ya tamandi la jie Mbomulube kanyandi la le Kotilingu nito nyaya kani nyamin Ntolbeno duko tamandi la wale nyama We will hear different views Different versions of a particular incident But at the end of the day The commission will conclude um, uh, we will reach some findings and uh, make its own conclusions. Mkuo ni nketa nyo nyandi nyama. Mbela mwe lale, satara ulu la minu manke kilinti, mwolu la jere ulu akonyi nitu afatata nyami, aning itilie kwolu nyili sata ifatata nyami, mbela mwe la wabe lale. Bari nini natata hanufo ifutata kuo tuku moto, komiso ngo, ulube si lale jimbero ni njero ke, katame, ni atame, kuo memu muto nyati, we will take a lunch break and uh, come back at uh, 3 o'clock. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you all very much. Thank you.
ignore_time_segment_in_scoring natural beauty, that melanin dripping, we do have stuff for you as well. And when you see skincare products, you can use vitamin. In fact, the last commercial being the phone, what do you want to do with your doctor? 9A grade. Wow. We do have bundles as well. Hair. What do you want to do with your doctor? You can use it as well. You can use it as well. Wow. What do you want to do? Si vous avez un classique de suitcase, vous avez un doctor de Samsonite. Si vous avez un brown de suitcase, c'est autre que Samsonite. Comme je l'ai dit, si vous êtes à l'aéroport, il y a un Samsonite, il y a un Samsonite. Wow. Vous avez un peu de wow. Skin, si vous avez un peu de skin care, si vous avez un peu de skin care, vous avez un peu de skin care, vous avez un peu de skin care, mais c'est skin care, c'est ma spécialité. Vous savez, si vous avez un peu de skin care, ce qui est très bien. Vous avez un peu de... Patricia Reiner, Kiwi Eye the whole range, Lighten Up Gold, um, Tomatine, I mean the list can just go on and on and on and on. Lepo lo hanne rek lui taral jigen la ci yoyu rek la ñoo dox. Skin Care Plus nak emu ñu ci Gambia rek, ñu nga United States, ñu ngi Gambia fi, ba pare bu dey yaangi anywhere in Europe, mun nañ la ko mail within 3 days rek ñetti fan rek nga jot say diw. Emu ñu ci lu rek dañ la consult tamit. Ba lañ la jaay diw Ils ont fait une free consultation pour parler exactement ce que vous savez, c'est ce qu'il y a de la vie. Ils ont fait une fragrance, des perfumes, des fragrances, des shirts, des accessoires. Nous faisons des dresses aussi, nous faisons des blouses, nous faisons des chaussures, nommez-les, nous faisons ça. Skin Care Plus 2020 est notre année de perfection. Zero task. Who make any real me fake? Can what if I task? Can what if I'm problem with product? Can I'm? Can what if I'm problem with picture? Book I'm in the whole fake and direct new law. The plus the fee. Miss V Designer Outlet is the number one quality and affordable stop shop for all your needs. Get your evening dresses, suit and ties, office wears for both ladies and gentlemen, beach wears, sport wears, pure leather shoes for men, quality belts, bags, heels for all beautiful ladies, original perfumes, accessories and lot more.
Find us at Kololini Road opposite Gaddafi Mosque at the Aqua Preacher Station. Or call us on 295-3411 or 764-2486. Miss B Designer Outlet. Shop right, look good. When we touch down, but I broke down. Yamtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication.